In the U.S., the first controlled landing on the moon by a private space mission has hit a serious setback. Will it be possible to land on the lunar surface successfully? Our Choi soo with the latest. The world's first private moon landing craft, Peregrine Luna Lander, is facing a serious technical problem. On Monday local time, Astrobotic, the U.S. firm that built the spacecraft, stated that it has a problem with the propulsion system causing a significant loss of fuel. They said the situation is serious enough for them to consider changing the mission goals. Peregrine was launched at 2.18 a.m. on Monday from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida on a Vulcan rocket. This 1.2-ton craft was scheduled to land on the moon on the 23rd of February. But about seven hours after the launch, an issue was discovered where the solar panels were not properly facing the sun, so couldn't properly charge the onboard battery. Astrobotic scientists managed to fix this issue, but also confirmed there was another problem, fuel loss. The Paragon Lunar Lander carries various cargo, including scientific instruments by the U.S. space agency NASA to study the lunar surface composition and radiation, as well as a small exploration robot the size of a shoebox developed by Carnegie Mellon University. NASA is just a customer in this project, though, and is not in charge. It paid 108 million U.S. dollars for Peregrine to carry its equipment. If the spacecraft's landing is successful, it will be the world's first private lunar exploration to make a controlled landing in the moon and the first U.S. soft landing in the moon since Apollo 17 in 1972. Chesuhyang, Arirang News.